uh, James Sinclair here for another session of the James Sinclair Q&A live here on YouTube. We're doing these a couple of times a month now. Um, and we're just going to jam here. Basically, the way this works, um, if you've got any questions you'd like to ask me about growing your business, please hit them in the comments below and then do my very best to answer. I've got a couple of pre-questions that I'd just like to get out of the way. Um, people have noticed I've been wearing Rossi stuff from the Rossi Ice Cream Company. <laughs> I've practically moved into it. People have been messaging me saying, you're going to wear anything else because they've appeared in my YouTube videos. Yeah, I've moved into the Rossi uniform um, as I spend most of my time on getting and keeping customers as we turn this business around. I'm absolutely loving it. And uh, we're keeping documenting all of that on the YouTube channel. Uh, Dodge, um, who runs a podcast called The Eventful Entrepreneur, brilliant guy, um, who interviewed me on his podcast recently. He said, how many ice creams have you sold this week? Well, in our second week of trading, we think we sold £12,000 worth of ice cream, um, which isn't good enough. We need to get to sort of £20,000 a week, bare minimum at this period of time. And really, £50,000 a week is where I want to be. So, um you know, not good, really. So we've got to keep on ramping up the sales. Now, that said, we have built a circa one million pound pipeline. And I've been working very, very hard on getting out there um, and getting the brand out there. I'm just going to uh, just just polish the camera lens screen there. So that look even better in Technicolor. So the way this works, gang, if you're just joining us here on YouTube and you'd like to ask me a question about growing your business, please hit it in the comments below. Please make sure you subscribe to the James Sinclair YouTube channel as well. Scarlet Rose said, I have a Rossi t-shirt. Go you, Scarly. Um, so thank you very much. Make sure you wear it every single day. Um, that's really important to me that you wear it every single day. Talking about um, marketing, really, let's uh, kick on to this. I received this today. Now, this is what I received. Um, that's my address there. Handwritten. Don't even see that. Handwritten with a stamp. I received this in the post. And basically, uh, when I wrote my book, Getting Customers, Easier, Fast, and for Less Money Than You Ever Thought Possible, I've done a whole chapter on the power of direct mail. And I got in from work. Nat's actually gave me a cuddle as I came in from work. And I saw this on the sun. I thought, oh, who wrote me a handwritten letter for home? Cuddle stopped. Everything stopped. And I picked this open and I opened it up. And inside was what it looked like at first glance, a handwritten letter. Um, but it wasn't. It was from Councillor Craig Connell. Um, and uh, it's basically a councillor slagging off one of the other councils saying, can you vote for me? So this isn't a political post, but it is a direct mail post. This is direct mail. This stuff works to get people's attention. So if you're not doing this stuff in your business, and not I mean, what's this has cost him 30, 40 pence, and it bloody works to get your attention. Maybe a stamp costs more, but it's, say a pound. And he's got me talking about it to you guys as well. Um, Hang on a sec. Let's uh, let's just uh, see if I can get this first question up that someone's asking me. I don't know how to do this now. Um, I had it here. Uh, chat viewing options. Uh, live chat. Let's have a look. There we go. Right. Um, Hayden Willis says, hi, James, there's a fishing tackle shop that is for sale that turns £160,000 a year and a gross profit of £40,000. Uh, um, uh, £60,000 worth of stock and he wants £140,000. Is this expensive? I say it bloody is. Um, I, my, if he's got £160,000 worth of, and this is a gross profit, it's not a net profit. If it was a net profit of £40,000, that'd be very, very different. Um, but I would say that is expensive just on those headline figures that you've presented there. So your business turning around £150,000, £160,000 is really just a profitable job business because you're paying for the stock, you're paying for the rent, the business rates, the electric. Uh, there won't be that much cash left over. Basically, what he's saying is he's got a £40,000 gross profit before he 
takes off overhead wages and his own money. So really what you're buying into there is a job. Really, I would be looking for businesses that turn at least half a million pounds and to have a team in place because you don't. he's just going to move out and then you're going to have to take on his job. £160,000 for a location-based business, in my opinion, just isn't enough turnover to really get things going. So that um, hopefully that answers the question for you. Um, if you've got any other questions that you'd like to fire towards me about growing your business, please hit them in the comments below. If you've just joined us, please make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel as well. Let's do a bit now on Book Club. What am I reading at the moment that I think is really good for business owners? I'm reading this bad boy, Good to Great. Um, I've finished, this was the last one that I read. Um, uh, this is another great book called The Compound Effect. Um, I'm literally into like chapter three on this. I think it's a bloody fantastic book. Um, and I think very well written. I think business owners should get behind this and read good to great as well. Um, I'll do a full review on that once I get into it. Uh, Shane Bryan says, how do you start your nursery business? Did you have a management team in place before you started that particular venture? Hey, really interesting. Great question. Um, when I was 21, I opened Party Man World, which was an indoor family entertainment center. Um, and it went really well. 2007, 2008 was good. Then 2009, the sun came out. And um, that's really not good for an indoor play center business. And I looked at the business for Christ, how am I going to make this bloody thing pay? How am I going to sort this business out that was so dependent on it raining and it being cold uh, to make money? And I thought once, once I got out of it, I would build a day nursery inside because I had the, the customers and I could just send them to the day nursery. And I'd done a bit of networking, found out that that was a really good business to be in. Um, but I wasn't childcare qualified. I just knew how to get the customers. So I employed um, a lady called Faye, who set up my first nurseries, and she worked for me for about four to five months. I had to pay her salary before we actually started trading our nursery. And it took about a year and a half after that to get the profits in and really get going. So Yes, I employed someone before we had any trade to set up the day nursery, i.e. sacrificed my own income from the business. Uh, rather than taking the money myself, I invested it into a salary of someone that could run it for me. <laughs> and uh, it was probably the best investment that I've ever made in someone or into a business because I think because of everything that's happened over the last year and a half, our childcare business has kept us, kept us alive, has kept the fuel on the fire, so to speak, to keep the business going. So, yep, hopefully that answers that question. Um, Hayden Willis says, any advice on growing online sales place? Well, I think content marketing really helps writing articles, making videos, um, choosing a niche before you broaden up. Now, I talk about this a lot at the moment, and there's a video coming out on the James Sinclair YouTube channel tomorrow at seven o'clock called How to Double Your Profits. Um, and we talk about all of this stuff that I'm about to talk here about niche businesses. 1994, when Amazon started, they just sold books. And then over periods of time, they broadened up the business. What I see a lot of small business owners doing when they start is they start broad, and then it's really hard to get market share. What Amazon done so well is they chose a niche, got really well known in that niche and built an audience in a niche and then broadened up over a period of time. And I think it's a really smart um, strategy for small businesses, especially if you're trying to sell online. If you're trying to compete with Asda, Sainsbury's, Amazon, and eBay, it can be very difficult. So choose these products, build them up over a period of time, and then broaden your business. So if you want to sell well online, choose an audience where there's a niche, um, build that audience around you, and that's how I would sell products online. Also, don't be scared to use these big Big platforms like eBay, like Amazon, not on the high street, Etsy, to just get turnover going and get your products out so you have bigger buying power so you can buy better, hopefully make your own products then in the Far East so that you've got some USP over what you do. And then you will find, and this is testament, this is proof, when people find you on Amazon, they then go and search for you direct and you will then get some more direct online sales as a result. Um, Nick Joyce says, hi, James, thanks for the videos. They provide great, valuable advice. Well, thank you very much, Nick. Make sure you subscribe 
subscribe to the YouTube channel. In fact, everyone watching, please do me a big fat favor and subscribe to this YouTube channel and make sure you like any of our videos. And that's all we really want you to do because when you like our videos, then the YouTube algorithm goes wild with applause and lets everyone know. So um, if you could do all of those things, that'd be, um, that'd be really lovely. Uh, MW Improvements, how you doing, sir? It says, I've just received off your books through the post and starting off with getting customers as the first read. I just want to say thank you so much. First chapter read, and I'm already loving it. Max, well, thank you very much, Max. So Fayad says, hey, James, much love from Westerham. Well, thank you very much. William Williamson says, um, hang on a second. Oh, God, they're all coming in now. Where can we buy one of those nice Rossi fleeces? You can buy it on our website at rossiicecream.com. Go to rossiicecream.com, um, and then you will see that you can buy all of our uh, – you can even buy – look at this. You can buy this as well, the Rossi ice cream T-shirt. Here we go. And we're rebranding all this, um, and I think everyone's going to love all the new branding. Um, David Redgate says, starting to market retail dry cleaners. Would you start with an FB advert or Google – FB adverts or Google adverts? I'd probably test both. Um, I would – I, I'm guessing just initially that Google AdWords would be the one to do. Um, but if you go into my Entrepreneurs University, which you can try free for 14 days, we've got a Google AdWords and Facebook ads um module on there telling you how we set up our ad campaigns with my my head of digital dom so just go to jamesinclair.net sign up for the free trial go into the entrepreneurs university do the facebook modules and the google adwords modules um, and then you'll see that there's some really good stuff uh, for helping you do that. Um, do, 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 do. Tendai001 says, Hi, James, I want to acquire a business for the first time. How do I find a team to manage the acquisition, ED, due diligence, and how is the best person to negotiate the deal for me? Well, that's got to be you. And again, there's a ton of stuff on my Entrepreneurs University that will help you do that. And you can do that free for 14 days after that's 50 quid a month. I sound like a right salesman here, but you know all of that stuff, I, I've literally... Um, put loads of modules together on exactly how I do these deals. The letters I use, the swipe files, the blueprints is all in there at jamesclair.net. Um, Carl Harrison says, how do you stay motivated when you feel like you're in the weeds? Hey, that's a good question. How do I stay motivated? Um, I'm quite a motivated person, actually, but I do have times where I just, you know, I've had enough. But luckily for me, those times usually are, resolved by the next morning um see entrepreneurship is a challenge um entrepreneurship is a challenge and if you're an entrepreneurial person you that's successful at the game of entrepreneurship you overcome challenges and you don't give up um but the eight traits of great entrepreneurs will show you how you get through those weedy moments you know I always say, number one, you have a vision for what you do. Number two, that you have a passion uh, for what you do. So number one, vision, thinking with the end of mind. Number two, you have a passion for what you do. And if you have passion for what you do, you get the third trait of great entrepreneurs, which is resilience. See, so, you, know, you have loads of passion for your children. You have an end in mind of where you want your children to get to. You want them to have a great career, great love life, great holidays, great career, all of that stuff. And you're passionate about your kids. And if something goes wrong with your kids, like they get ill or they go off the beaten path or they answer you back and do something nasty to you but because you love your kids you get that resilience to get through those days and I think it's very 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 similar in business you know I'm passionate about building brands that families love I'm already super passionate about Rossi ice cream passionate about Marsh Farm passionate about Twizzle Tots Party Man World Teddy Tastic and our sand art company and all the other businesses that I've got because I'm passionate about them I get this bounds of resilience and I think if you're not passionate about something, you won't get the resilience and it'd be very hard to stay motivated. Hopefully that answers the question. David Redgate just said, um, I've signed up to Entrepreneurs University and I think it's great. Well, thank you very much, for sake, um, uh, for <laughs> David. I wasn't saying Fox sake to you, the next person's comment is called Fox sake. <laughs> David, it did sound like I was swearing at you, but I promise you, if you look at the comment above you, the username is Fox sake. <laughs> 
Oh my God, I feel like I'm going to lose it now. What a fantastic username. Oh dear, for fuck's sake. That's such a good username. I mean, she's nearly, whoever that person is, you've got me caught up there. All right. Um, Fox sake says, hi, James. I currently own a small business. It's paid in full and owes me nothing. I'm in the process of buying a second larger unit to run my business from. I need more space. I'm planning on keeping the first unit and leasing it out. I've never done this before. Can you suggest any tips on potential pitfalls I should be aware of? I mean, no, I think that's a flipping fantastic idea. What's the worst that can happen? You don't have a tenant, um, but you will find a tenant if you market it right. Um, don't rely on goo, uh, commercial estate agents to be the sole person to find you a tenant. I find that you can get great tenants using Facebook Marketplace and community business groups just as much as um, all of those places, um, the, the traditional commercial estate agents. Agents. Hayden Wood says, Do you have any units for rent, James, by any chance in Essex? Because of, I know, yes, Hayden, I actually do have um, another warehouse unit coming up. If you um, message my PA, tracy.shaw at jamesinclair.net, or just drop me a private message on Instagram. Um, yeah, I've got two units up for rent at the moment as someone's about to move out. So, oh, I didn't expect that to happen tonight, but brilliant. Uh, Jordan Pitcher says, hi, James, I want to be an entrepreneur. I really believe I have the spirit and the skills. I just don't know where to start and what business to get into. Jordan, the best thing to do to start a business um, is just start a little side hustle and try selling stuff on Facebook Marketplace, eBay, and learn the process of commerce and just getting some sales in. Because lots of people think starting a business is all about the beautiful brand. What's my brand going to look like? Actually, you really need to look at, people's careers and how they start they just get selling stuff um, and then choose your passion when i think about my early career you know 14 15 at school i was selling sweets um, and flipping stuff and uh, that just got me in the process of understanding how to liaise with people and sell stuff um, i tell kids all the time now you know just Go around your house and start selling all the toot that you don't want on eBay. You know, if you're still living at home, do a deal with your parents. Look, all your junk, let's go 50-50 on it. I'm going to sell it on eBay and Facebook Marketplace. That gets your seed capital to start the next business. It's just super smart to do. Uh, let's have a look. Um, oh, my God, there's so many questions. Uh, Mark Davidson says, are you looking for any more products which fit in with your sound up brand distribution channel? Mark Davidson. Uh, that Mark Davidson, yeah. Private message me on Instagram. Um, I read those messages with your ideas. And yeah, let's have a look at it. Um, if it works, we might definitely go into that. Carl Harrison, thanks, James. I have a huge tank of resilience, but there are days when it runs almost dry today. The answers help me out of a rut. Well, I'm pleased to see that happening, Carl. Um, Fox sake says, ha ha. Sorry, James. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, how do you know which sector you want, to, uh, which sector to go into? NK check out my video tomorrow night uh, we made it today um every monday and thursday we bring out a youtube video at seven o'clock tomorrow's night is just flipping fantastic how w profits and we do double go into what sectors to choose uh, and i dissect that question so go and check that out seven o'clock here on the james sinclair youtube channel um um uh, and so you're notified subscribe to the channel and then click the notification bell on the youtube channel because once you click the notification bell youtube will let you know when we're bringing out new videos media duxbury says hiya i'm working through the eu modules lovely loving it uh, but marketing is my weakest spot 90 percent of businesses uh 95 of my business comes through word of mouth so far would you focus on direct marketing star or fb google ads um, <laughs> Do the modules on this on Entrepreneurs University and help you um, understand this. Look, Google Ads sometimes just doesn't work for businesses. I think you need to have quite um, higher average order value, average customer value for Google Ads to work. 
if you're selling products for 10 and 15 quid, then Google Ads just ain't going to work for you because on average, I think it's seven pound a click now on Google. It might be four quid, three quid. I, I don't know uh, what the average is now, but it's certainly much more chunky than Facebook ads. And Facebook ads aren't always the answer. They're getting more and more costly. It could be, for example, YouTube ads. Um, YouTube ads are much, much cheaper and you can get great returns on YouTube ads as well. The other thing, I don't know what your product is, you could use influence marketing and we're talking about putting a module on influencer marketing into entrepreneurs university as well how you use people that have got followings of 10 to 50,000 people on Facebook on uh, Instagram that have good interaction with their audience how you can leverage their audience and give them free product or free service that they talk about you we do this at Marsh Farm uh, we do this at our venues and it absolutely flipping works uh, but I need to know a bit more about your product for that to work Maybe the best thing you could do is apply to come on the Gem Sinclair podcast and I'll coach you for free for half an hour on your business. How do you do that? Go to my website, jamesinclair.net, click on the podcast button, fill in the application form and I'll be able to help you grow your business that way and we can have a conversation about it. Um, da, 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 da. um uh, Tom Quirk says, hi, James, just started listening to your audiobook, getting customers really enjoying it so far. How do you go about finding the right staff member? Is there anything you need to look for in particular, any system you use? Yeah, loads of systems. Now, I've started writing and I'm well into it, uh, my fourth book called The Dream Team, about employing great people. Laura, who manages Entrepreneurs University and the James Sinclair brand, is just editing it because she's a flipping fantastic copywriter. And um, the Dream Team book is just going to be outstanding for you on this. But there's also another pitch for the Entrepreneurs University. We've put tons of modules in how to recruit for people um, and how to ask all the right questions, all the questions we use at interview. Um, just brilliant stuff. So that's all in the Entrepreneurs University as well. And you can again try it free 14 days, dive into those modules, and then after that, it's only 50 quid a month, and we keep on updating it. So that's good as well. Ah, da, 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 da. Oh, dear, dear, dear. Uh, uh, Lawyer 104 says, uh, late again, what gold nuggets have I missed so far? <laughs> I'll just rewatch it when it's finished, but we've done some good gold nuggets. David Redgate asks me, selling home and going into rented for 12 months, want to invest in property. I will clear 210k. Um, hang on a sec. Uh, um, I will clear 210k. I cannot get a mortgage. How would you start? Um, this is good. I will clear 200k. I currently cannot get a mortgage. How would you start? Um, I would be flipping stuff. Um, oh, I don't actually. Let me think about this. I would choose a business that does doesn't start from zero each month, so it has regular customers, has high transactional value of customers, so they're transacting with you all the time. Good average customer value and good lifetime value. Let's talk about Rossi as a live example of this. Each order value, customer value, about two hundred and fifty quid. Um, they transact two, three times a month. So say that's a thousand pound a month per customer, 12,000 pound a year per customer on average. And once they're with you and they look after you, they stay with you for the lifetime of that restaurant, blah, blah, blah. So that customer's lifetime value could be a million pounds, 100,000 pounds, 200,000 pounds. If you look at my Marsh Farm business, for example, you know, average customer value, 15 pounds transacting with you twice a year that's 30 pounds and they probably come three years before their children have grown up so the lifetime value of a customer is about 100 quid when you weigh those two up it's not so good but what's the advantage of marsh farm it has bolt-on brands like the day nursery um, and our membership system and our shop so it feeds all those other brands but also it scales and has sort of quarter of a million customers a year so you need to you know, weigh it up. But if I was starting again, I'd be looking at those three levers that I believe really make profitable businesses. Great average customer value, great transactional value. They're transacting with you all the time and a fabulous lifetime value. So try and avoid starting from zero each month. Um, and with your 210K, I would be very frugal about this. I would try and buy a business for free 
that's got something going and then just use a bit of your money to improve that business and you can buy businesses for zero and take over businesses all the time i've documented loads of ways of how you can do that here on the youtube channel um, go and check that out and i'll definitely invest in yourself you know you know, I never stop reading. Read all my books. You can get them on my website, jamesinclair.net. Get an Audible account. Fill your brain with great stuff. Um, I listen to Jim Rohn nearly every night before I go to bed um, and just feed my ears with you know stuff that I know all the time. I R&R, &R, refresh and remind, refresh and remind myself on the stuff that works. And I think it's really important that business owners have R&R, &R, refresh and remind themselves on the stuff that works like the army do. You know, the army are reminding them troops through training the same stuff all the time because humans can slip out of positive habits and you know, it's really important that we have positive habits as business owners. Um, hopefully that gives you some ideas on there. But again, I would urge you to come on the James Sinclair podcast and we can have a chat about that at free to do. Go to jamesinclair.net and then you can um, um, apply to me on there and we'll get this done. Um uh, Michael says, hey, James, congrats on the Rossi deal. Do you ever have problems negotiating contracts and allow you to disclose uh, a lot of conditions on YouTube? Um, no, um, because I wouldn't go into that detail on YouTube. Um, and I'm quite careful to keep it quite broad on YouTube. Um, I don't. And if I thought that those people wouldn't want to know and it's my personal um escapades that's what i'm sharing but no i wouldn't go into detailed contracts on youtube or how much um you know yeah i'm very careful on it um but i want to give people enough value because i believe we need entrepreneurs to go out there and grow our economy and that's why i do this stuff okay then gang i think we've come to the end of all the questions tonight thanks very much for watching me here on the james sinclair youtube channel don't forget check out tomorrow's video called how to double your profits it's coming out seven o'clock here on the james sinclair youtube channel i urge you to go and check out my podcast as well the business broadcast where i'm coaching people live Live. Um, oh, let me just. Michael said, When's the Rossi merch going on sale? It's already on sale, mate. If you want to buy some, go to rossiicecream.com. There we go. It's already done. Um, so just go and do it. And you could be wearing a t shirt like me. Look at this bad boy. Okay, there we go, gang. Uh, thanks very much uh, for having me. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you in the next video. To continued success, I'm James Sinclair. Bye bye.